For many of us, this little novelty was our very first introduction to planting and growing anything. The first step is to soak Homer's head in water for 24 hours. Then we'll paste the chia seeds on his head. Even if you've never been the proud owner of a chia pet, chances are you know the jingle, whether you want to admit it or not. Ch -ch -ch chia Do you remember those uh, commercials from Chia Pets? I do, actually. What, what, what's the jingle? I, I'm embarrassed that you're going to make me sing it. Ch -ch 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 -chia. <laughs> the terracotta figurines have been popular since the 80s. Remember the Chia Ram? How about the Chia Puppy? Now grow a whole collection of fun with Chia Teddy Bears. Puppies. Now there are 23 different varieties. Chia Shrek, Chia Homer, even Chia Obama. And while the pets still make popular gifts, the seeds used to sprout that iconic frizzy green hair are the latest health food fad. I kid you not. Just check out your local health food store and you'll likely find Chia products sold under many different brand names. You and I were both grew up having the Chia seed pets. So we had, you know, the little funny faces with the hair growing. It's the same, it's the same Chia. It's exact same Chia. You can add it to cereals, you can add it to green salads, you can bake with it. It doesn't really have a distinct taste, which makes a perfect addition to anything you want. Anna Furman has been adding chia seeds to her fruit smoothies for almost a year now. As a mom with a full-time job and a baby on the way, she often needs an afternoon pick-me-up. Chia, she insists, does the trick. I need all the energy I can get. The seeds are high in antioxidants, calcium, iron, and fiber. They contain more omega-3s than flax seeds, an essential fat found in fish, nuts, and avocado. There have been all kinds of studies that have come out that have talked about omega-3s benefiting risk of heart disease, omega-3s are benefiting risk of diabetes, omega-3s benefiting how well children do in school and whether they're inattentive or they can pay attention. And depending on how you prepare them, the seeds actually taste pretty good. If you can get past the image of Homer and the gritty texture, well, I prefer them in an energy bar mixed with strawberries, vanilla powder, and milk also does the trick. <laughs> Still not buying it? Consider this. Consuming the seeds is nothing new. The Aztecs devoured them thousands of years ago. In fact, they were the third most important crop back then, after corn and beans. The Aztecs often ate it. There was actually a military ration for energy for the, their warriors, and it was uh, just a stable food crop. Sounds interesting. Would you try it? Only if I can grow hair, like a chia pet. Ch-ch-ch-chia! Sarah Underwood, Fox 25 News.